Hey guys, Destiny Gundam, and today we're going to be doing a very special review. Since tomorrow is the premiere of um, TMNT Season 2, I'm going to be doing a review on my TMNT figures. Now, uh, first off, let me show up some, fac some packaging. So, um, here it is. This is the standard TMNT packaging. Uh, the turtle shell, plastic etchings on the side, um, clear window box, um, not really, um, what is it? Paper, cardboard backing. So here's some of the other figures you can get in the line. Um, Shredder 1.0, Krang, Foot Soldier, Splinter, April O'Neil, and the rest of the four turtles. A little bit of bio, and there's this, there is a perforated line that you can cut along to save these bio pieces, but I prefer to keep the packaging. So, um, this is Donnie's. I, don't, I have all four of them, I just don't want to pull them out, because they're kind of in a tucked away place now. But, um... In it, you get a. You obviously get the figure, and you also get these product placement, um, kind of like little pamphlets, and they just show you all the products that are out right now. Um, this I bought this a little bit closer to the second release, so there's gonna be the flingers and the um, throw and battle ones from Toy Fair, uh, the new RC um, RC shell razor, and um, just like the new hover drone and the. Uh, our 8 Ninja AT3. So, um, yeah, just some newer stuff. It also comes with this pizza power pointing thing. Um, yeah, so there you go. So let's get on to the figures themselves. Um, let's just set them all up here. Now, I have them all decked out with their um, weapons. And also, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to review uh, Metalhead, too. So, um, yeah. There we go. So here's all four of the turtle figures with my custom metal head. Now this metal head is obviously different. He's much taller, uh, much improved articulation, and um, he also has some paint, like um, some new paint on him. So let's get started with this review. So first I'm going to go over metal head just real quick. Um, metal head here, he is yellow, gray, with some touches of silver, some rust on the side. Um, some internal wiring. This overall, the first the metalhead figure was really cool. I just did not like the lack of articulation, so I added that in. Um, he used to have that little flame piece, but now he doesn't. He has an elbow joint now, and his arm can pop out, so it has that kind of shooting arm gimmick from the show. Uh, he also rotates at the arm. His uh, shoulders can go out that far, rotate 360. His head is on a ball joint. Um, I made his mouth part just like angled so it looks more cartoony but um, at the same time just kind of like a little bit more out there protruding. His turtle shell is actually on a ball joint so you can do some pretty crazy stuff with that and I highlighted the NY the little details in the back. Um, Torso is on this nice ball joint nice and fluid. Legs are on a pin so they rotate and they can go up and they bend at one point and swivel at the knee. So. So detail-wise, there is some silver paint apps that I added in, and um, painted his eyes, did the arrow, also did the caution sign, and the crane on top, which I made it blue instead of purple. And also I added in this little antenna here. Yeah. So there's Metalhead. Let's put him in the background. Next we have all four turtles. So first off, let's look at Leonardo. Um, I'm not going to go over all the articulation all of them. They all basically have the same articulation. It's just... The only difference is the sculpt. Um, that doesn't hinder the articulation all too much. Most of the differences are in the shoulder since there are thicker parts underneath the armpits for most of the turtles. They um, It keeps them from doing more reserve poses. So there you go. So here for Leonardo, he their articulation is they have a ball joint at the head. It's nice and stiff though. Um, arms can rotate 360, go in and out, not that far, go up pretty are, uh, bend at the elbow, they also rotate at the elbow and rotate at the wrist, so plenty of movement. Um, the legs, even though they might look like they're restricted, they're not really that restricted because this little piece right here is actually made out of rubber, so that's a good touch on Playmate's part. Um, so their legs can go up about that far, and then they can, if you rotate them, they can go out about that far and back about that far. Um, bend at the knee, not really a 90, and they also swivel at the knee. So sculpt-wise, these guys look amazing. 
it's just um funny story. I'm not, um I was actually planning to make a really uh show accurate shell razor that would be a uh, fitting. So basically I wanted to do that, but um I ended up picking up the wrong turtles because at first I thought that um these ones were pretty show accurate until like there's the because out of all the waves there's only so far that I knew about there was only the um stealth tech the ooslingers and these guys and these guys were the most accurate because they all have their weapons and stuff no fancy gimmicks or anything like that but then the battle shell um turtles came out about 2 months later after I bought these and they looked extremely accurate to the show so I'm going to probably pick those up too just to be more show accurate with the shell razor but yeah but I'm gonna keep these guys because I'm just gonna call them IDW turtles because they look really like IDW esque except for their bandanas and their happy expressions. But yeah, um, so weapon rise, uh, Leonardo's got this nice big long sword. He's got a whole bunch of these little, um, I forgot what they're called, but they're like Naruto and stuff like that. Um, and you get a couple of those. You get three of them, and then. You obviously get some shurikens to mess around with, so nice shurikens. What I would have preferred if they had shurikens from the show with the little um, Yo Hamato Yoshi clan symbol in the middle. These are just generic shurikens. Um, also, a nice touch. I don't think anybody figured this out, but this little knife is actually um, Karai's knife. So that's why I kept it right here underneath his belt, so he kind of hides it so from the other turtles. But it is a small little knife, and... It can fit in his hand. So you can kind of shank people with it. But yeah. It's not very sharp though. It looks kind of dull. But yeah. Um, all his accessories can be put into his hand. Uh, one modification I did with these guys is I cut their hands. So their t um, their, all their fingers were supposed to be like molded together. But I cut it so they can do they can hold like the shuriken in between their fingers. Like that. Back then they couldn't. They can only hold it like this. But yeah, and then also I did some panel lining and added in pupils and panel lining in the mouth. Now, obviously he has his um, regular katanas. So here they are, a short one and a long one. And they both fit in his hand. So yeah, looking pretty fly. And he's going to slice you up. Yeah. Um, now, he does have those big feedums and... The knee pads and all this stuff. Um, Turtle Shell is pretty good looking. Different shade of green. But yeah. So there's Leonardo. Um, actually, just for time wise, I'm going to end the review right here. This is going to be a two part review, guys. So um, see you for the next part. For now, we just have these two.